What is EDI? Well, this is a simple question. EDI is methodology of translating between a company's internal formats for their applications and a standard so that everyone can integrate with everyone. Before EDI and hundreds of years ago, before computer age, there was an order form. You get an order form, you get a book of them, and you just fill out an order and you'd mail it to them and they would get the order and hand it to someone who would process it. They'd not key it in, there's no computers. They would put it somewhere and they would record it and they hand it off to somebody who would pick the goods and pack them up and ship them off to the customer and then you would invoice them and then they would pay your order and that's order to cash. Before computer, before electricity. Or, you know, back in those days. So, now at the beginning of the computer age, the late 60s, 70s, um, the banks created EDI to move money through the automated clearinghouse. EDI was possible, but the condition of companies then were ERP, Enter Enterprise Resource Planning Software, was in the early stages, SAP and BAN, B-A-A-N. I think both made out of Sweden were competing for who's going to be the SAP and SA, uh, who's going to be the ERP system and SAP one. I think, I don't think bond exists anymore, but they, they were just early. So every company had their own applications. They wrote it themselves. If they took a, a purchase order, exported it to a file, it was a file unlike anybody else had but their file. And they would send it to their customer and they would say, what's this file? What would, we, what would we do with this? The only way they could integrate would be for the customer to tell them, well, this is what the file means. And then the, cust the supplier would have to write a program to convert their, the customer's data format to the supplier's data format so they could import it into their system, if their systems even did import. That's what you would have to do to integrate. We called that point to point. Every point... When I was at Boeing in the late 80s, they had 3,500 suppliers or something, you know, thousands of su suppliers. So Boeing's one point and every one of those suppliers is, so there's thousands of point. And every single point that can, wants to integrate with every point has to write thousands of conversion programs. This is why integration didn't happen except for the big few. You take your top 10, you, know, 90, you have one customer that's 90% of your orders, you integrate that one. But um, that was the beginning of the computer age and, and the beginning of ERP and the beginning of EDI. The solution of, for EDI is take those thousands of points that all have proprietary formats. In the middle, put a standard. Now each point has to only convert their data to the standard, not to thousands of different points, just one conversion, yours to the standard. That's it. You do that. Then you can send the standard to any of those points. They can understand the standard and convert it to their structure. So everyone, every company has to convert between the standard and their format. That's all. And then every company can integrate. That's the EDI solution to the point-to-point -point mess. It's 40, 100, you know, 500,000, a million conversion programs just so people can send orders and invoices. Put a standard in the middle, solves everything. That's EDI. Really, what I always say is EDI is convert this data to that data and send it to that partner. That's it. That's EDI. Pick this file up, convert it to this structure, hand it off. If there's 27 pieces of information in the EDI file, I take them out of there and put them in the 27 spots in your internal structure that you want, and I put them there accurately, EDI is done. That's it. We track it, we acknowledge it, but that's it. That's EDI. So that's as clear a picture, as simple as I can give you for what it is. It enables companies to integrate automatically. So they just build product, ship it, and get money. They don't have to worry about all the transactions. Thank you very much.